Hello everyone, this is Dr. Rob from Pain Free for Life and today I'm here to bring you another 10 minute Monday training. This is the training sessions where I try to cram a topic which is rather complex or you know a treatment that might be very useful into something under 10 minutes. So easy to digest and to go with. Uh, when I was writing my PhD dissertation, the primary focus was on vagus nerve stimulation for the resolution of inflammation. So as a result of this, I had done about 20 case studies. Um, I had originally set out to do 50, uh, but I needed people to be willing to give up all their other therapies in order to be ensured that this would work. Um, so my pool of 50 ended up going down to about 20 people um, once I had kind of weeded out who was and was not willing to give up their meds um, to do the trial. Um, these people, they had varying inflammatory conditions. Uh, they, they, were, they were all connected to pain, and their primary um, complaint was pain and discomfort, swelling, things like that. A handful of these subjects, though, had terrible issues with their guts, like ulcerative colitis, um, Crohn's disease. And these conditions bring with them things like diarrhea, or IBS, um, significant um, intestinal discomfort. And, and although this was not a focus of the study, I did expect to resolve this as well. So I was pleased that in most cases, I think in actually maybe in all of the cases here, uh, the, uh, the inflammation in the gut being resolved helped to eliminate the uh, diarrhea or the constipation and to kind of balance things out. Uh, so the, the reason that, this, that I expected this to work um, is that the discomfort we feel in our guts, the, the imbalance of constipation, diarrhea, you know, IBS and more is connected to the inflammatory state of our bowel and left side vagus nerve stimulation interfaces directly with the bowel to reduce inflammation throughout the body. People routinely find that making the stimulation of the vagus nerve part of their daily routine can restore balance to their guts and reduce the impact of abdominal discomfort on their lives. It can even be essential to restoring balance to the gut after surgical anesthesia. We talked about post-surgical last month, um, as well as uh, taking painkillers, antibiotics, anything like that, that you're going to need to be able to restore um, the, the balance to the gut uh, from. So essentially, with all these things, the moral of the story is calm the vagus nerve and inflammation will melt away. It's a totally simple treatment. I'm going to show you. Um, I know there's a lot of anxiety around uh, doing vagus nerve stimulation for many people, um, mostly because they're worried about getting it in the wrong place. Now, what I typically tell people is you're looking for the left side vagus nerve, right? So you're going to try and find on the left side where you're going to find your pulse, your carotid artery. You want to feel it beating. So you got to be quiet for that. Okay. Once you've found it, you're going to go back a little bit, just crawl back a little bit so you're behind it. And that's where you want to place your Y probe or your vagus nerve conductive pad. Now you'll note here that I am about an inch below my earlobe. So that's the trick. If you are nervous about doing this because you're like, I'm not in the right place, I'm worried I'm not in the right place, just go to your earlobe, put the electrode directly underneath it, and then go down one. Okay one electrode length and you should be right around the right spot and you'll know when you're on the right spot so you need an evolution or pro sport for this um because you need the 7 to 12 hertz program so you set your device to 7 to 12 hertz you place it in this spot and you hold the plus button down until you can feel it tingling but what we're really going for here is not necessarily the tingle it's the pulsing you almost want to feel like you've got something crawling under your skin a little bit as the electricity moves things. Once you're, you, you've got that feeling, you know you're in the right spot. And you can hold it on there for three minutes. Now, you want to do this up to three to four times per day as well. Um, but you just hold it here and you want to control the, the current and the sensation. You're going to feel your neck moving. You don't want it to be moving too much. So if it starts to get uncomfortable, hold the minus button down, lower it down a bit. You want to control it so that it's comfortable. Now, remember that trick. When in doubt, just go to the ear and go below the ear. You can use a mirror to find it, right? And you'll be right around the right spot. You don't have to be 
absolutely precise here because the microcurrent is entering the skin and in entering the skin, it's spreading out and it's looking for nerves. It's going to find that vagus nerve and it's going to travel up and down it. Once you've done the three minutes on the left side, you don't want to do it again uh, for a little bit. You don't need to do the right side uh, for, for the gut. It just doesn't really interface with the gut very much. It's more for headaches, um, breathing issues, and things like that. So you just do this. It's that simple. And once you've got your timer goes off and you've done three minutes, then you put it away. One good trick can be, you know, if you're around at home, is to do it at breakfast, lunch, dinner, and before bed. That way you're eating your meals, you're doing your vagus nerve stimulation, and you're, you're having your time uh, necessary for your treatment times. So yeah, incorporating this three to four times per day into your daily routine can go a long way into eliminating the inflammation in the gut. Um, however, you shouldn't just assume that vagus nerve stimulation works only on the gut. Now, in the study I did for my dissertation, again, there were so many different conditions. Some were just general pain, like lower back pain. Uh, some were migraines and headaches, um, arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, Anything in our body that causes us pain is the result of inflammation. And if you can shut the inflammation down, then you can stop that spread of fire. Uh, you should think about the belly, the gut, as kind of the source of the body's inflammation. And it's spreading through the body from there. If you can shut it down in the belly, because the belly has so much control over the, uh, the brain and the inflammatory response, if you can quiet it down in there, you're going to lessen inflammation across the body as well. So you're looking to create that healthy foundation for a healthy body, and, and you're not going to regret it. So that's it for today's Monday 10-minute training. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. If you like what you saw today or if vagus nerve stimulation has helped you resolve an issue, I'd also love to hear about that in the comments also. Uh, next week, uh, we will be covering another topic, so I look forward to seeing you then. And as usual... Let us know if there is anything at all that we can help you with. You take care. Below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, if you found it useful, I'd love to hear that as well. Uh, so I'll see you next week for another Monday 10 minute training, and we will continue to learn more about microcurrent and all that it can do. Take care.